Here's example four in the number theory topic. Examples one to three cover uh, what we call the Euclidean algorithm. If you haven't checked out, please do so because we're going to use it in this. Uh, what we're going to do is we've found the greatest common divisor using the Euclidean algorithm, and we're going to use it in a linear combination, um, which in its proper uh, title is called Bezu's identity. It basically says if there's two positive integers, a and b, where the greatest common divisor is some value d, it's possible to write or to express d as a multiple of one of the integers plus a multiple of the other. In other words, what we need to try and find out is values for x and y such that x a plus y b is equal to that greatest common divisor. So we're playing around with the structure of these numbers. So the first thing we would have to do, if you have a look at example four, um, is that we're actually given an equation in that form there. We're taking the two numbers 140 and 252. And first of all, we're going to find the greatest common divisor using the Euclidean algorithm. And then we're going to work out values for x and y that makes this equation true. Okay, so let's do it. First of all, we need to find, let's get that up to the top. Right. So we need to find the greatest common divisor of 140 and 252. So bigger number first, there's only one lot of 140 in 252, and that gives me a remainder of 112. And then we haven't got a remainder of zero, so everything moves along. 140 is one lot of 112 with a remainder of 28. Not a remainder of zero, everything moves along to the left. Uh, there are four lots of 28, 512, exactly four. The remainder is zero. In other words, my greatest common divisor is 28. So in other words, we can rewrite this equation as 148 plus 252y is equal to 28. So we could, by trial and error, work that out. It seems fairly obvious if you have a look at it, given the fact that 28 is smaller than both 140 and 252, that one of x or y is going to have to be a negative value. Okay. So how do we actually do this? We do this by working back through the lines that we've already used in our division algorithm, this uh, set of lines. Okay. In other words, we're going to basically substitute these values back in. So what we're going to do is we don't use the very bottom line here, but we're going to work our way back up the, all the lines of the division algorithm back up to the very first one. So we don't use the last line, but our first one we're going to use is this number 1, which is 140 equals 1 times 112 plus 28. And we're going to rearrange that so that we start with the the remainder. So we're going to rearrange that 28 is equal to 140 subtract one lot of 112. Okay. So far so good. Um, and what we're going to do is keep substituting until we've only got the two numbers 140 and 252 in here. Okay. We've got the 28. We want to keep that, but we don't want the 112. Okay, what we're trying to do is to, we've got an equation here with 140, 252, and 28. So at the moment, I've got 28, and I've got 140, but I need to replace the 112. How do I do that? Well, I, so basically, that is from 1. So now I go up to 2, and have a look at that one. And if I rearrange this equation uh, so that 112 is on the left-hand side, then I can see that I've got 112 is equal to 252 minus 1 lot of 140. So I'm actually going to write that in right in here, okay, where 112 is. So we've got 112 is equivalent to 252 minus 1 lot of 140. I've just done there. That's from two. So let's tidy that up. We're saying that 28 
is one lot of 140. Uh, and then if we say minus one lot of 252, and then a plus, because it's minus negative one times negative one is plus one lot of 140, which is if I simplify that, we can see that 28 is actually two lots of 140, because we've got one there and we've got one there. Two lots of 140 minus one lot of 252. Well, actually, that's me got my equation, because if you have a look, remember what we're trying to do? We were trying to come up with a multiple of 140 plus a multiple of 252, which gives us 28. And we can see here that two lots of 140, oops, that two lots of 140 take away one lot of 252 is exactly that. So in this case, what we would do is we would usually define the values of x and y. So x is a multiplier of 140. So we can say x equals 2 and y equals negative 1. So it's usually, even if it doesn't ask you to state it, it's good to actually do it. Okay. So that's how we find or express the greatest common divisor as a linear combination or uh, we express uh, Bezu's identity. I'll give you another couple of examples. Uh, example 5. Uh, certainly, and you can maybe get the hang of that as well. Okay, hope that's helpful.